I grew up in Exeter, New Hampshire, so it's a small town. I think lots of cold, snowy New England winters. My mom was a phys ed teacher. My dad was a New Hampshire state trooper, so I had the teacher, cop, parents, very, you know, traditional, blue collar, American upbringing. Uh, my mom would bring us to every sports practice. She was either coaching or roughing or umping, so I had just, yeah, experience in every single sport. I have two brothers and a sister. We were literally one, two, three, four. I was competitive with everyone. <laughs> so everything was a race. You know, first to the dinner table, first outside, first to the car, um, I remember. And they would just kind of, they are competitive as well, but not to the same degree. But I mean, it was an amazing childhood with having three siblings, all of us within one year. Yeah, grateful for that kind of upbringing and childhood and those memories. I was certainly um, a goody goody, goody two shoes, like straight A's. I would cry if I got an A minus, like perfectionist. That was kind of the, the initial start of this drive to be the best I can, the drive to be in triathlon faster than I was yesterday. So it's been, it's always been there. <laughs> My first ever triathlon was a local sprint sprint distance, but not in the same order as a typical triathlon. I went with my parents. My mom had signed up because she was trying to lose some weight. I was still in college and I was like, oh cool, what is it? I'll go with you. I didn't even know technically what a triathlon was. <laughs> I love triathlon because it's this never ending journey of testing yourself. Every day is a different journey within the sport and then the racing is just kind of the icing on the cake of putting things together, testing yourself there and then you go back to the drawing board and you get to do it again. It's, um, I think that's why people call it a, a lifestyle sport. It's, I don't see an end point. It's this, this journey of you getting to test yourself and, and as long as you enjoy it and you're finding joy and having fun in that, it's, yeah, it, it's an incredible sport to be a part of. It would be awesome to be chosen for the Collins Cup and represent Team USA. I'm a, a proud American and um, to be part of that team, to be able to represent our country in the inaugural Collins Cup, yeah, it'd be a huge honor and I would love that opportunity. I think the Collins Cup is super exciting because it's a new format for triathlon. You're able to see individual races taking place within a bigger one. So make it part of a, a mainstream viewer experience where people can get excited watching it versus you see someone ride by on their bike for five seconds and they're gone. It also brings in a team aspect, which I love. That's all I knew growing up with soccer and ice hockey. So for me, it's like I'm part of a team again and you have that camaraderie and I might have a bad day and let myself down and be mad and angry at myself for you know weeks on end after that. But for me, I could never let a teammate down. It's, it will make you go harder and not give up. You can't let up. You have to push it. Even if you don't want to on the day, you have to for your teammates. <laughs> I'm used to being the underdog, so I think it would be it would be awesome if we could, yeah, turn an upset over there and bring it home. <laughs>